Yay! Option We're doing Fallout. You didn't tell me that. I I I I thought the video did with its yeah, I, title. Yeah, you oh, think I read stuff? Oh, look what it says up. It says right above this. Don't no, mind the it others. It says it says <sighs> let's play Fey Laot. That's a different game completely. Fey Laot. Your dyslexia Fey Laot. is is showing again, Squee. Lies. <laughs> <laughs> That's a creepy poster. Oh no, the talent company! What is he? Oh, I was gonna say, what does he do? It looks like he just has his arm out to the side like he's a cheerleader or something. Hey! Give hey me there. an M! M! You got your M! You got your M! Give me a U! You. Oh, wait, I'm spelling murder. Just to. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't want to spell take all a while. murder. That would have taken a while. York. So, uh. Hit him in the face! Wow, he Holy took crap! He took those bullets! Oh, never mind. Oh, never mind. I yeah. was gonna say, if I just took three bullets to the face like that, I am not gonna keep charging you. I am gonna stop and cry like a little baby. That was beautiful. <laughs> I think I'd probably die. Yeah. Uh, Did you see stop. the sun hit that just so? <laughs> it was. It was pretty cinematic. It's like. It's like a plastic bag getting caught into the wind. It makes me feel that somewhere up there, there's a meaning for all of us. <laughs> Shut up, Inferno. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ruin my artistic expression of severed so, heads flying through the air. So, the talent company, these are some new enemies yes. that we have not yes. met before, and they have a particular purpose, but they haven't... <laughs> they, they didn't say their opening line. No, they, they didn't! They collect talents. They're, and there's uh, only two of them for some reason. Oh. Um, basically, talent company is like the best thing that could possibly happen to your character. <laughs> uh, because <laughs> really? Okay. Oh yeah. Uh, basically, like, they always they, tried to kill me. Yeah, but like, okay, they pop in, they try to kill you. You usually succeed. What do you get out of it? Um, you get three combat armors. So if you start wearing combat armor, you'll never run out of combat armor, which is one of the best like armors you can get through most of the game. Okay. Um, they oh. usually wear really good weapons. Uh, Chinese assault rifles, laser rifles, um, sometimes melee things. They also have a lot of caps. Uh, they have healing things. He just wants a hug, Piff. Why are you running away from it? <laughs> you know what, Piff? You know what, they, you know what else they have? Wives and children. <laughs> and they'll never see them again. Good job. Well... It's okay. Just, <laughs> it was self-defense, <laughs> and they're, they're, they're they are trying fans. to kill me. Yeah. <laughs> Unlike Lugnut, which I killed without <laughs> provocation. <laughs> His family is gonna miss And him. that kid that you just abandoned. <laughs> no, oh, he, he, you abandoned that kid, Squeak. <laughs> oh, we have to see what oh, right. Piff does. Right. I'm sorry. That was me. <laughs> <laughs> He's still- you guys in the video don't understand. We'll, we'll just be talking about anything anywhere just randomly through the week and all of a sudden he'll be like, Don't forget about me in the house. <laughs> don't worry, don't. I won't. Oh shit. I've done the, <laughs> I did the one thing I promised I wouldn't. <laughs> Does anybody recognize where we are? Yeah. A cavern. The DC Fer wasteland. Wait, Fern Gully. Uh, oh god. Explosions. I don't actually recognize where this is. First, I thought it was going to be. Um, it's. You might recognize it in a bit. It's a, it's at a weird angle. It's been way too long since I've played this game to memorize or to is remember it, anything. Really. Is it the town that's built on top of uh, a freeway, an expressway thing? No. Spoiler warning. No, that's not really a spoiler. No, it can be many. Stop things. moving around so much. Bam. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's like, okay, okay, start moving around again, I'm sorry. Oh yeah, okay, <laughs> sorry, yeah, that was my mistake. Yeah, no, I don't know where we are. The compass says you're going north. It's, it's, it's north, for the most part. Should jump off I just gotta it. rub myself against this rock a bit. Rub, 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 rub. Embrace. Gravity. Aww. Hey, there's a dude on the other side that doesn't want to kill yeah. you. Ah, welcome, weary traveler. You look like a traveler in need of relaxation and the finest of chemical assistance. Well, wander no more, my good friend, for I am Doc Hoff, procurer of the finest of medical goods and chemical assistance. Now, how may I help you? 
I provide food, drinks, and discreet chemicals to discerning customers around the wasteland. I help ease the suffering of my fellow man. For a prize. I don't have a home office exactly, but I organize much of my trade with Ernest Rowe in Canterbury Commons. Let's see what the good doctor has in his magic bag, shall we? See you next time you need that special little something. Is he hitting on me? <laughs> no. <laughs> Anywho, before we get into the next conversation, uh -huh. as you saw, there was Punga being sold. That's right. That's a um, DLC item. You usually will not see that in the normal game. Hmm. Um, you have to download the uh, coin lookout. Oh my. I wasn't expecting any visitors. Now I know where we are. Obviously. I still don't. We're an egg of this house, obviously. But now I know oh, where this okay. is. Oh, oh, God. Oh, oh, oh. My Piff! My, my, my. You certainly do look a little bit worn out from your travels. Oh, just look at my terrible manners. I'm Agatha. It's so nice to meet you. Now, what brings you all the way out here? Honestly, there's nothing much out here. Looking for sand? Rocks? We have plenty of that. You're welcome to look around this area, of course. Don't let me dissuade you. I'm just trying to save you some time. My husband built this place way out here for a reason. Rest his soul. Well, that's kind of you to say. Yes, he's gone. After he built this place, we spent many happy years together. We decided to cut off contact with the outside world and just depend on each other for comfort and company. Oh, oh, goodness, no. I have a supply caravan that passes here maybe once a week. I trade with him for whatever I need, and I stock up enough till they return. Well, I always have my husband's old radio set to fall back on. I used it once in an emergency when a group of raiders was getting a bit too close for comfort to my house. Otherwise, I use it to broadcast my so-called music I play from my homemade violin. Yes, my husband was very proud of the setup. He tinkered with that thing for years to get it working. I've tried to use it to get whatever I need, but I've never gotten a reply. Thank you. While my husband had his hobbies, I'm afraid mine was making that sorry instrument. I only wish I could replace it with something better. But now that you mention it, um, yes, there is. My training depends on my violin. Without it, I have nothing to play, no way to make music. If you can bring me a violin, a better one, I'd feel much more secure. Yes, very sad, isn't it? Sad to think that no more musical instruments will ever be made the old way ever again. <sighs> well, fortunately, I know where perhaps the last real violin in the world exists. If you give me your word that you will recover it, I will tell you more. You have a point. Perhaps I've been neglecting needs that you might have and being selfish. I have a small amount of ammunition that my husband left behind. A box of odds and ends. I don't think I've opened it in years. If you do this for me, you're welcome to take whatever you need. Oh, I don't think I've been this happy in years. As promised, here's the key to the ammunition box. It's right under the radio table. Before you leave, I have some information that may help you. At least a place to begin. It all starts with my great-great-grandmother Hilda back in 2077, before the bombs fell.
It certainly is a long time. That precious instrument has been through a lot. Anyway, Hilda was quite a special woman, classically trained and exceptionally talented at the violin. Her pride and joy was her Stradivarius violin. I can only imagine how exquisite this instrument must have been. When the war reared its head, she was invited by Vault Tech into Vault 92. They claimed the vault would be dedicated to preserving musical talent. Vault Tech was always promoting the vaults being used for the preservation of the arts and all that nonsense. Hilda couldn't pass on a chance to meet many of the other musical talents of the world, so she accepted their invitation. Then the bombs fell, the vault was sealed, and my family never heard from her again. She kept it in a special pressurized case. Inside the case is the perfect temperature and humidity for the instrument. If the case is still functioning, the Stradivarius would be in perfect shape. Hilda Stradivarius was named the Swa Stradivarius. All of them had names. That's what I want you to get. That's the catch. I have no idea where it is. I'd suggest making your way to Vault Tech headquarters in the D.C. ruins. That would be a good place to begin. Good luck! She was quite a special woman. Hilda was her name, classically trained and exceptionally talented at the violin. Her pride and joy was her Stradivarius violin. I can only imagine how exquisite this instrument must have been. When war reared its head, she was invited by Vault Tech into Vault 92. They claimed the vault would be dedicated to preserving musical talent. Happily, she accepted. After she entered Vault 92, the bombs fell. And the story as I know it ends. Not too much, I'm afraid. It was fabricated way back in 1714 by a famous Italian craftsman named Antonio Stradivari. He had made a bunch of Stradivarius violins, actually, and each one was individually named over time to identify them. They are regarded as the most outstanding instruments ever made, and no two sound alike, they say. Incredible. Since the bombs fell laying waste to most of the world, it may be safe to say that this could be the last surviving violin of its kind. Well, from my great-great-grandmother's diaries, I have deduced that she had a special pressurized case created for it. Hopefully, the Swa Stradivarius was in the case when she... Well, you know... Well, okay... I'm sorry. I wish I did. All I know is that Vault Tech intended it to be a protective environment for the world's musical talent. When the bombs fell, the vault was sealed and the rest is a mystery. Perhaps when you find it, you can find some sort of a record of what occurred inside. From what I gather, it's located in the ruins of D.C. I got the location from one of the supply caravans. They told me it had extremely high security and something they call a main frame inside. I'd imagine it's quite dangerous. I'd be careful if I was you. Be careful. I don't want to be responsible for getting you killed. Oh my. But you wouldn't be humble. Now to use that key. <laughs> mm, no mini nuke. <laughs> what have you been holding out oh, on me, Grandma? Oh, that missile does kind of look like a penis. And you... Down the safe box. <laughs> you gotta keep your valuables safe, Pip. <laughs> <laughs>